No, I have my stand. I have it, but it's on the floor. Because I'm just walking in. And I wanted to say hello. Because I do not know what the day will bring. Hold on. Got to adjust my brightness. Y'all know how I do. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what the day is going to bring. Hoping all good things. Um, yeah. Hold on real quick. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I needed to go through my bag. But, um, yeah, I don't know what today will bring. I do know we have a board meeting tonight. This is my first board meeting. Here, anyway. Um, so, I had to get ready for that. Which I prepped for this weekend. Then, of course, we're going to have a meeting. Which my staff... So, traditionally here, we've always had our meeting on Wednesdays. And, um... Wednesdays was used as a meeting day and a training day. But then last year we started meeting on Monday or Tuesdays as well. So what I'm going to implement this year is something that I've implemented at my school. My godson who works here as well um, was my AD at my school last year. And uh, now he's like AD emeritus this year. And uh, he said it's like ZLA 2.0 sometimes around here, but the things that worked under my leadership are things I'm bringing here because I won't say I know how to turn around the school, but I know how to make growth because the biggest thing under my belt right now is ZLA. It started out as a low C when we first started opening up in 2020. By the end of last year, we were a high B with our goal being a B plus and we were like four points away from being a B-plus school. So I know I can do it. Um, it's just I need to figure out how to go about it. So I know what to do, is I should say. It's just seeing what will fit here, what won't fit here, because not every school, just like any other business, is not the same. What worked for one may not work for another. But I'm here, so I have to use the the measures that I have, the experience that I have, um, to see what measures I can I can take and put into place. So, yeah, um, so far so good. It's just we're in a district, very very low district, um, and if we had based on data collected, um, and lack thereof, here we're probably right at an F, either a high F or a low D. Um, so, which I'm going to shoot more towards a low D. I'm going to say it's a low D. So, um, we have a lot of growth to make. I want to see us at least in the year, um, in a high C close to a, a, a B, either a B or a low B. High C being my absolute lowest goal. Um, because our students are capable. It's just getting our team there. Um, as well, because we have a lot, we get a lot of people who have either never taught or have limited experience in education, and uh, this is like the training ground. So it's good that we're the training ground because you know it's a great place to learn and grow professionally, but at the same time, when it comes to student production, you know, we don't have the experience on campus. Um, to get the students to rise like I would want to because you kind of have the professional learning with the students. So, you know, it's, it's you can't have your cake and eat it too situation. Um, but we've managed. And I, I know the challenge here because as I told y'all in my last vlog, you know, I it took me three or four years before I could actually hone my ability to reach, actively reach here. Um, and, and it does take time. And another thing is, in a Title I, as many of you know, in a Title I district, people don't stay long enough to foster those much-needed relationships. So, um, yeah, that's another game-changer and something else I wanted to change here as well uh, because I want to see more consistency across the board. And I know that if we have that consistency, we'll have the numbers, uh, we'll make the growth, we'll produce what we need to produce, but we need to first start with... Uh, being who we say we are, doing what we say we do, and, and the commitment of those who call themselves a part of, you know, 
this great commission, this great uh, gift um, known as our campus, and that doesn't happen. So all of that is a factor in leadership, and I, and I just really firmly believe that as a leader, it's your job to help people rise to the occasion, to help them identify the need, to support them as they work to meet the need, and you know, be that person with the plan. You don't have to have all of the ideas, because uh, that's unrealistic, but you should have the plans. You should be the one, you know, for me, I feel like it's my job to stay late and strategize. It's my job out on Fridays. On Fridays are my days where, you know, I would like to go home early, but I stay late on Fridays and I reflect on the week. And over the weekend, you know, I think about it as well. And that's when my, my meetings, like my meetings, agenda happened over the weekend because things were just popping up you know as i'm i play gta for fun and you know uh, i was building some stuff on the sims and you know just relaxing and my mother she said you need to get out you're not living your best life get out and i told her i said i run five days a week so being able to do nothing on the weekends is me living my best life and she was just she wouldn't accept my answer um which i appreciate but it's like, you know, that is my, for me, I'm not saying everybody should do this because some of y'all need to go out. You need to go be free. But for me, I'm cool with like once a month, you know, making my whole going on and some sort of expedition or road trip or something like that. Or, or even if I only do it during breaks, like Christmas or, or spring break, I'm, that's enough for me. Um, because I want to rest on the weekends. And if I'm traveling, I'm not resting. And my body is trained for that because I've been doing this for so long where you know for the past 12 years of education or i think this is this is either year 12 or 13 um I, i'm just accustomed to that whole having that break on the weekends so when when i don't get that because i've done things hanging out with you know old college friends man they come down and we get together we spend the weekend it was always a weekend extravagance that we have um i'm exhausted that following a whole week because I never feel like I'm getting full sleep because I don't go to bed for like 12 or 1 and I'm back up by 6, you know, so I don't need a whole lot of hours of sleep, I guess, because I've always been that way. Um, as long as I'm in bed by 1, I'm good. If I go to bed after 1, I'm wake up late and the whole day is going to be in disarray. But, you know, um, for the most part, if I can, if I can just get that rest on the weekends, I'm good to go. So. I don't know how I got all the way over there, but today is going to be a wonderful day. It's the beginning of a wonderful week. It's going to be better this week than it were the first two weeks. We are in week three now, so I'm expecting nothing but great things, and I feel like um, I have a better idea of what I'm doing. We now know what to expect uh, campus-wide, so that helps a whole lot, too, when you have a sense of direction. It makes life so much easier, but I'm going to turn on my air because it's really, really hot in here because the air does not cut on until like, later on. Um, so yes, and then I'm going to get to work, so I'll talk to you guys either today or I'll talk to you later. Sorry that this video was so long, but you know, sometimes I just, uh, share some things with you because the whole purpose is for you to see the life of the after school principals I've always done with y'all. So my vlog is not real adventurous as much as it is informative. So I'm going to tell you now, this is going to be the norm. So if that bores you, then this may not be the vlog for you. But for those of you who are interested in learning how to be a good teacher, learning how to, you know, be a good leader, or you're an aspire, aspiring leader or an aspiring, I keep saying expiring, aspiring educator, then this is a good vlog to watch because you learn, hopefully, a thing or two about a thing or two. But, okay, I got to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, everyone. So it's the end of the day. Um, it is... 6.47, and I need to be headed to church, because I'm actually teaching tonight at church, but I wanted to, I had to upgrade, update some of our Google Classroom stuff. Teachers couldn't get students registered, because students either didn't have email that they were new, so I had to update that, and I wanted to finish it before I left today, so plus, all I'm doing is teaching, I have something on my pants, so, okay, all I'm doing is teaching tonight, so. I have staff at church who can handle everything else. I don't have to be there to man everything, so that's nice. Um, plus, I don't believe in leaving and your work being undone. Undone, kind of like I was saying yesterday about how I believe the Lord wants us to be good stewards of that which we are 
in charge of. But yeah, so I was uptight today. Um, I had to meet a couple of my staff members. They weren't happy <coughs> about what I had to say. Some of them gave me some pushback, and I pushed back, um, not in a nasty, rude way, but just let them know, like, okay, you can feel the way you feel, but my stuff is going to get done. And if you don't want to do it, please let me know so that I can find, figure out another solution. Um, I don't like to say I can find somebody else, but, you know, so that we can figure out what to do. Because if you're not interested, I can't make you do it. And standing here having a conversation about how much you hate it ain't going to fix it. Uh, kids still low, we still gotta grow, so we gotta do something, and either you with it or you're not, and if you're not, it's cool, bruh, but I can't make you do it, I'm not gonna stand here and keep talking in circles about it, so, uh, we had that conversation, all is well, everybody's on board, by the end of the day today, you know what, all them grades was in, all them students were in, everything that needed to be done, I said it needed to be done, got done, and I'm just so grateful. And that speaks volumes to them. Because they could have could have been negative, could have griped and complained, but they didn't. They did what they had to do. They stepped up, and I appreciate it. So that's my bag in your face. I'm trying to pick up stuff on the floor that my kids left. But, yeah, they did what they had to do, and I appreciate it. So I can't even, you know, be mad. Why, why does child has two? He has two notebooks. I don't know why. But, anyway. I wanted to share that with you because I'm happy and I'm going to church now. Um, but over overall, my day was good. And I want to show y'all something on my desk. Sorry, I know y'all over the place, but let me show you this. I do this, those notes, because that's stuff I have to do. And it's a good thing for me because what happens is when I see the notes, I know, okay, that's one thing I got to do. Sorry. Trying to close my back camera. Um, but when I finished it, like at the end of the day, uh, one of the te teachers were in here. And I said, look at all the stuff I got to do, all these notes. And I was reading the notes and I realized, oh, I knocked that out. Oh, I knocked that out. Oh, I knocked that out. I knocked that out. And it got me more and more excited. By the end of it, I'm like, oh, my goodness, I got stuff done. Because that desk was covered in sticky notes. Things that needed to be done. And now it's very few. It's like, it's an incentive for yourself. So I said that. If you're not doing it already, do it. And when you take off that note, you know, some people do a to-do list and crossing out is fine. But it's talking about when I throw away the note. Balling it up, throwing it in the trash is rewarding in, in and of itself. Because it's like, you know what, it's out my face, it's done. And it just makes me feel good. So, yeah, I was I was dancing. I did my little church dance with my staff today. And I was telling them, I said, I'm so proud of y'all. You got the stuff in. You got the stuff done. So, yeah. But okay, I'm done. If I stay here, I'm going to keep finding the stuff to do. So I'm gone. I'm done. I'm just about this bus. Alright, did that too. See, another thing. Done. Out my face. What am I going to do right now? Look at here. Look at here. Pick up my favorite part. Uh-huh. Out my face. Out my face. But okay. I'm done now. But I'm going to be gone for real. I'll talk to you all. Hopefully tomorrow. If not, then whenever I'm Hello, it is Friday, September 16th, the end of the day. A wonderful day it was. It's been a long week, as you know, but we're ending strong. So, yeah, we're in my Friday get up. My cardigan, my gray shirt, my campus shirt, and my jeans and my tennis shoes. Just hanging out, but yeah, I'm just glad that it's over. Oh, I got some things I need to finish on my desk, but I wanted to check in. Let you guys know that all is well. The week got better. I was able to talk people off the ledge and get them to understand my perspective while understanding theirs. And I'm happy about it. So good deal. But I'm going to talk to you guys later because I want to get out of here at a reasonable hour. So, yeah. Talk to you later. Sure, you guys, that's how I turn this on. Let me flip my camera. I have to unlock it. Sorry, I have a... But we... It was Friday. So we had our spelling test. And some of my students didn't score so well on the vocab quiz. So I had them redo it. Um, today as well because I wanted to give them another chance and then we finished this right here is the last set of past participles we had to go over so I am well it's not last set I'm sorry but if you look here I'm doing it by date so um, we do some some days let me fix my brightness we do some some days and some other days but start off earlier there, then we knock those out, 
not going out today. So now we have, I believe it's next week I have a plan for us to finish this. I want to say this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. And then we'll be done with past participles. So I am glad to see that we are almost done with D. Proud of my students. They've been working really, really, really hard. And it shows. And, uh, you know, so far so good. It hasn't taken them too long to get um, used to me or my standards. Uh, again, they've been working really hard. So I can't complain. And this week, they've been wonderful. They have uh, accepted the title as of principal kids and they're enjoying it like uh, they do get a little more privileges and every once in a while I have to step step away but it's impossible to be an administrator and teacher at the same time so I do have to step away and handle something over outside my door here and handle something with another student from another class I'll say I'm trusting you guys I'm trusting you right now and they just take it very seriously um, sometimes I'll be in the hall and I can hear them trusting us like, stop don't mess it up um, so they know they get a reward. So I'm just really, 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 really proud of them and all of their hard work. And as you can see, my sticky notes that were once for filling my desk have come down to the last five there. This desk is slowly but surely getting clean, but this is where my teachers turn in their stuff. So on Friday, this is always kind of messy, but really, really proud. Really proud. Really proud of this week. Um, I actually sat, I was in the office doing my little dance. Cause it's like, yes, we're done. We're done. It's over. So yeah, but I'm going to clean my board, log out of my email, and then I'm going home. I'm very excited because it's not even, well, it's 7.14. I did my all call. I actually had a student record an all call this week. It sounded amazing. I'm very, very proud of him. He's one of my scholars. Um, so I had him do it. And I think I'm going to have a student from a different class do it each week. Um, kind of keep Strong communication between us and the families, and then also it makes them feel good to hear their voices. So uh, we'll go from there. Sorry, my nose is like stuffy and itchy today. But uh, yeah, so again, another great week. It was busy, and you know, I have my, my points of frustration this week, but I'm also proud of the way um, everyone handled it and how they received it, and I saw improvement. So that's what it's all about growth. If we can grow from it, it's worth going through. So. All right, I'll talk to you guys later on. What's up, everybody? So it is now <clears throat> 7.42. I'm getting ready to go home. I'm tired. The face of a tired administrator. Because I'm ready to go. But um, I'm going to do a teacher. That's what I was going to do. A teacher to teacher. I'm going to do one. I don't know when. Um, I've done one. By the time you see this, it has been posted or it may not have been posted. But in either case, I am going to post it. There's some good leadership tips, um, things for me, things that I have learned uh, throughout my time as leadership in different capacities. And I wanted to share because um, some people have asked me about it. And I, um, in those conversations, like, man, this could be fruitful for somebody else. So um, I am going to post it. And then I want to do another one as well but i have to find the time when i'm not so consumed here because uh, the day i did the other one that i've already recorded was a easy smooth day i didn't have too many things pending uh but so far this week every day there's a series of things pending so once that is done um and things die down then i have time in the mornings where i can talk to you all but until then we're just going to have to continue to play it by ear. But I appreciate all of your love, all of your support. I'm going home. I'm ready to go. My mother even texted me and said she cooked. So I will be going there to eat tonight. So I'm excited about that because that does not happen very often. So the fact that it did, I'm going to take advantage of this moment and love it. So it's Bow Tie Tuesday. I'm going home. And I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Hold on. Something just caught my eye. My paper looks stained. I want to make sure I don't have any leakage, but that may not have been from here. So we're good. We're good. But yeah, uh, the weekend was it was an interesting weekend. Um, again, it could have been worse. Florida, of course, 
It seems like every time there's a hurricane, Florida always catches it. My heart goes out for them. But uh, we were okay. Just a lot of rain and whatnot. Um, therefore, I can't complain. It could have been much worse. Uh, yeah, however, I don't know if this is post-hurricane weather or if it's fall weather. Either way, it's my favorite time of year. This right here is my weather. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to enjoy these these moments of fall. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to sit y'all somewhere where I won't have to move you as much. Um, I only got, when I'm at my desk, I only got like two options. Either I'm going to put you over here or I'm going to put you over here. But, yeah, for the time being, I'm going to put you right here. But, yeah, um, it was it was a relief. Because we don't have too many hurricanes. At least we haven't in the most recent years. When I was younger, you know, we got them a lot. But um, now, I don't see them as much as we did in the 90s. Um, but when they do come, it just interrupts everything. In fact, that, well, I don't know if it was the last one. But one of the um, heavier ones we had is on this block, which was Florence. And that one was pretty rough. Uh, it certainly flooded this area. Uh, where I work and then at home it also did some damage there as well. So again, they Don't come very often but when they do come they certainly leave their mark and their impact. So I'm just relieved Sounds like I haven't heard anything bad um, So all of our families here are okay. We're okay. Campus is okay. The front as I was uh, Turning in I see there's a tree look like it may have been split um, And it's leaning in our driveway um, so I'm sure they're going to work on that and have that removed um, pretty quickly, I'm sure. Uh, but outside of that, all is well. So um, everyone is safe. That's the main thing. So I appreciate that. For sure, because I don't want anybody to be hurt. And I want all of my babies and their families to be A-OK. -okay. So, um, yeah. So now I'm here. I have some things waiting for me. But not too many, which I'm really, really proud of. I don't have a whole lot waiting on me. Um, this is week six. I will say that I am uh, really, really excited that we are moving through this school year. Um, feels good. I was reflecting this weekend as well on how things are going as the after school principal. And I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. We had our first report card. Um, showing our, our growth and our results this past week. Um, I'm okay with it. Uh, really, secondary, did all, they did quite all right. Uh, between middle school, high school, we have a middle school uh, life and communication skills class, and we have a high school college and career readiness class, readiness class and then we have a uh, media arts class, which actually accommodates grades 6 through 12, depending on how many students. It's based on availability. Um, so it's a happy medium and a mixture. Those classes flourished. Um, the lowest class, I would have to say, is mine. Um, following behind me is our primary foundations class, which is kindergarten through third grade. Um, in case you didn't know, I teach fourth and fifth grade here. So a um, couple questions I have. I, I want to meet with our teachers today. I want to figure out, are we grading for accuracy or are we grading for participation, because that will explain why everyone else flourished in the secondary. Um, if we're just giving them 100 because they did the work, or are we actually challenging them and grading that? Because um, the thing is, this was our first report card. So it's okay to start out low. I expect to start out low on your first report card uh, because you're gauging. You're doing nothing but gauging and whatnot. But um, when you start out high, your chances of falling are greater as opposed to when you start off lower uh, because now I have something to grow from. But when you start off in the 90s or or high 80s, it's kind of like, okay, are you, your only option is to make growth if you're not already at 100% or um, kind of maintain some, some medium, um, which limits your room for growth. Um, as far as I know, we don't have an AIG class here. Uh, we may have a couple of AIG students, but we don't have a set class like most most campuses do and ideally have a, a whole class 
of your AIGs. Um, and we don't have that. So it just, again, makes me wonder how is grading done? Everybody can't be just soaring through this thing. Somebody need to be lagging behind. And, um, you know, I only saw a couple of students who were lagging. So I just want to make sure that we're, we're really challenging them to rise to the occasion. So that's something I'm going to meet with our team today for our Monday direction meeting and figure out um, how is that happening? What does it look and sound like as far as grading is concerned in your classroom and go from there. But uh, it is what it is. I'm, I was overall, I was happy with it. Um, as I told, you know, the primary teacher, I was telling her, I said, you know, we want to start low because it gives us, as I just said, a, an area to grow from. Um, our secondary, again, I'm not really sure how this will work. Um, my only other option is, or my only prayer is maintain a medium. Keep it, keep it in that ballpark then. Since apparently this is easy for y'all to accomplish, keep it right there. Um, but I fear the absolute worst, which is this is an honest grading or, or um, we're not grading for accuracy. So when we start grading for accuracy, we're going to see a huge decline instead of an incline. And, and that will raise questions for me as far as are we making growth? What are we doing? Uh, because the goal is to make growth. Uh, and that's the heart of our whole program is to uh, cause them to triumph render them victorious set them up for success um, that's why we're not the boys and girls club because you're not coming here for recreation you're coming here for academic recreation um, because we're trying to set you up from good to great not that all of our students are low per se but we we're trying to help you grow and your parents put them here with that in mind so they know Yes, we're, we're progress monitoring. Yes, there will be reports. Um, yes, your child will be doing work half of their time here. They will be challenged. Um, but we're building scholars. We're not building athletes, you know, or anything like that. Although we have those activities as a part of the program as a whole. When it comes to after school, this is academia. We're getting you, getting your mind ready for the next level making you future ready. That's what it's about. We're not here to just be here, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm just really, 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 really hoping for better results and that will continue to fly high from here. So that's the goal, but okay. I got to get to work. I also got to text the parent. I just realized, um, I'm in the text this weekend, but I didn't, which I'm glad I didn't, cause I don't want that to be a habit. So I will talk to you all later on.